Hello and welcome to another episode of our Unknown to Icon series for Football Manager 23. If you saw the last episode, we was in season two and we won the league, so for Vanarama South. Great achievement because actually it wasn't expected and in this episode we start season three. So I will take you through the pre-season of how we did, I will take you through our transfers and then I'm going to show you our first game of the season which is against Oldham and we are away. So let's jump right in. So we're moving on to our third season as Brackley Town Manager. Obviously, it's actually, we've only been manager two and a half seasons. Well, one and a half seasons. This is getting into our second and a half stroke third season. It's confusing when you start halfway between a game, but that's how it is. And this is how we've started our pre-season. So if I just highlight these here, I think it was highlighted in purple anyway. Our two hard games of pre-season was against Cambridge and Newport County. So Cambridge is League One and... Newport County is League Two. Two really good draws. Considering we've only just got promoted to the National League, I think that's really good. Then we played Leek, who's not to be seen anywhere. Lastly, Celtic, and then Frome Town. And we beat them all comfortably and we was away. So for me, I think think we're doing quite well in a pre-season manner. But in today's episode, I do want to play our first game of the season, which is against Oldham. So we had a dilemma and that was the fact we was losing our two top goal scorers. We was losing, who was it? It was uh, Kid Bonda, who in fact scored for us 25 goals out of 44 appearances. And then Asante. Asante. He got injured a little bit last season, but he still managed to play 34 games for us and scored 21. Obviously, Kid Bonda was on a loan. But we had to replace them. We had to replace them. Who else did we have go out? Oh yeah, our defender Candola. He started off well for us, but then went a bit naff. And that's it. Just had to bring in a really, really good striker. But was it that easy? Well, let's go have a look at what transfers we brought in. So as you can see from this list, I uh, don't know if my box is cutting off or anything. No, you should be able to see. I will describe it anyway. So... Grant Smith, we knew about Grant Smith. This is all last year's transfers. What a signing he was. Grant Smith, Candola. But if we go to... Here we go. So we've brought in Jack Grante from Crystal Palace. Another defender, 18 years old. Three star. I mean, I hate when they do that. You bring them in end of the season and they get put in that season. It's a bit annoying, but hey. So yeah, Crystal Palace, he played 18 competitive games i'm presuming under 18s got 6.78 and i'm hoping he can come and do some good stuff for us because he's got a current ability north and south and potential abilities league two so thinking ahead if we can keep him and good thing is now that we've stepped up a league i can sign people on two-year contracts so it gives us just that bit of a safety net if they are good and we don't lose them like asante and then we brought in Jaden Fuller from Brighton, another player from the Premiership. But again, it's their youth, isn't it? But this is where we want to find these talented players who are going to cost us nothing or next to nothing. I mean, contracts, he's on 350. He's a striker, 18. Now, would he be my top one? And if you remember, Asante and Cordola, they weren't young. They weren't old. They was very young. And, but again... Brighton, how did he do? Seven goals, 15 games, 6.8. Non-competitive. But I liked his stats. I mean, he'd be playing as an advanced forward in our tactics. So dribbling, bit of a downfall. Passing, bit of a downfall. But that finishing first touch, that composure. I like for determination. That obviously, it's not that suited for advanced forward. But in this league, you can't be picky. You just have to choose what you kind of like. And if he looks good, bit of pace about him as well. Acceleration. Agility, I think he could be a good little player. And from so far in our preseason, he's played three, started three, sub two, and he scored two goals. I have given him the number nine shirt. So maybe he might be a top striker. But the thing is, I was struggling to try and bring someone in. And then I brought in Leo Gaxa 
from Sheffield United, 22 years old, from Albania. Now, he can play up top, but at the moment, I'm playing him in, uh, in for right wing position. It's because I can't sign a right wing, but I managed to bring him in. So I think eventually he will go to that advanced forward position because tick, 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 tick. Uh, work rate could be better. I mean, it is increasing through his training. Or just, uh, it's just natural, isn't it? Mental. Uh, tick, tick, tick. I mean, he ticks all the boxes for me. So he's played three, subbed one, scored one, four assists, playing a 7.68 as a winger. So it actually kind of made me think, actually, do I keep him there? We will probably see what's around here in terms of market still. I think I am still after that right wing position and on the outlook for a striker just in case something pops up. And then we brought in Ben Salt Souls from Wrexham. Now he's a bit more experienced, but 21. But if you look at what he's played, definitely more experienced. I mean, Vanarama North, Vanarama North. Playing 6.9, 6.8. That's good for me, especially with his age. Quite good experience down there. Hasn't been given for chance at Wrexham, so he came to us. Let's just quickly look at his stats. So he can play in that volunté position that I like. Or he can step in and play into a centre mid position. Just quickly look at stats. I mean, you look at his high stats and that's obviously free kick taken. A bit perk, right, to have. And looking at his squad number as well, he's not going to be in my first team. He's going he's just a squad player. So take that into account as well. But good pace, good stamina, determination, rests. It's not bad. Not bad at all. So if we go over to my squad planner and we have a look at the depth. So obviously Smith and Hunter. Hunter is my youngster. Backup goalie, Smith. It's just fantastic. Then on right back, Randall keeps his spot. But I've got a youth player in for backup position there. I mean, if you look at role ability and that, see what you can do this off ditch. I'm more than willing to give our youngsters a try. And you might see that quite a lot in our squad depth. And then um, brilliant Oli Younger. What an end of the season he had. Hopefully he can just get better for us. Kevin Nash again, another youngster. I think someone's after him. Hopefully he might just turn it down. But maybe I could do with someone better. But if you look at that, we've got Josh Flanagan as a backup and then Grante. But if Flanagan performs better than Grante, then obviously Flanagan's going to win that spot. Don't always go on for stars. I always go on based on form, really, uh, especially at this level. But I always try and get two in each position. Josh Bailey, I say two in each position, but left back. Josh Bailey is a fantastic option. I think, can anyone else play left back? And no. And as you can see, I am scouting a uh, left back there and then our two volunté volunté is that volunté volunté positions uh, we got Widrington had a really good season last year and Duckland Hitchin, Hutchins so I keep one of our youngsters in that uh, backup position and then Ben Saul oh okay I've got him on loan didn't realise that did I I've loaned Ben Saul from Wrexham uh, and then Joe Wheatley obviously he's been in our team for a little while uh, I have to see what these players can do. Obviously, if they perform well last season, I'm going to uh, keep them in my team. And then this position is really strong with Jack Turner and Pendlebury. Jack Turner being our captain, I think, from what I remember. And then for right wing, we've got Skura still with us. And then obviously Leo Gakta, who could go into a striking position if we bring in a right winger. And as you can see, we are scouting that. And that is top priority. And then in our left wing, we've got Callum Stead and Tom Flynn. So another youngster given a chance. I mean, he's got great potential. So I really want to see what he can do. Not that much acceleration, but some pace, some agility. Off the ball, he's good. Decisions can only get better with experience. I mean, 16 years old. Good dribbling, good finishing. Okay on passing and good on technique. Then we go to our striking position and obviously we still got our youngster Max Thompson around. He's wanted, so I don't know if he's going to be around. And I'm not actually looking for a striker, so I'm really looking at bringing in for right winger and then move Leo Gaxar across and then Fuller will be my backup with Gaxar and then Skura will be back up with our new signing. So I was very busy just planning my team. Obviously, I didn't bring in that many players. I think it was four overall. 
I've re retained quite a lot of our players. At the end of the day, we won the league. So if it was going to be good performers, I'm more for giving them a chance. Who knows? By Christmas, we could be <laughs> regretting that decision. But to be fair, if I'm sitting away from relegation and I'm mid-table happy, then I can only improve my team, right? And I can only improve our position. And then in season four, we really try and push for that playoffs of try and get promotion to try and carry on that progression every two seasons of a pro uh, promotion that's for am i guess or you never know we could get lucky and we could just perform very very good i mean look at our preseason we're performing well who knows a shot could be on cars and we could get promoted to league two and i'm just gonna probably quit there and just be like surely i'm an icon well actually i can't quit until it states in for club that i'm an icon and if we popped over to that stats Oh, I'm covering it. I'm covering it. Oh, wait one sec. Let me just remove me from the screen. And at the moment, I'm one step behind. I'm I'm a favourite at the club. I won them for league. I'm pretty sure that if I retired now, would I go into icons? I'm not too sure how it works. We're not playing the road to legends as uh, some people do. We are literally just want to become an icon. And plus legends title was already take, taken and um, I'm just doing something a little bit different, I guess. So let's jump right into our game against Oldham, shall we? Well, not straight in because we still got to choose our team and that. But let's go and sort that out now, I guess. Obsession instructions, I'll do that in a minute in our tactics. To be fair, I don't really listen to any of this. Not anymore. Let's go to our team selection because I will go to for Obsession, select all. And wrecking my own ones that sit in the background. If you don't know that, I uh, I think I showed it on a video before. Or just Google it. Just Google it and I'm pretty sure someone will take you through it and give you a good template. I can't remember. It was a long time ago, beginning of the game. Right. Uh, who are we playing? We do want to play at A team. Yep, that is already selected. So this is our strongest lineup. I mean, it doesn't look it right, but it's the best team I can put in. Oh yeah, I've got under 18s in here as well. It's obviously pre-season. Let's get rid of them. And there's my tiny little squad. It's fine. And let's see who he, my assistant chooses in my subs. Max Thompson, yeah. Two midfielders, defender. Who we got left here? I think one midfielder will probably do fine. And that'd be Pendleberry. And maybe, maybe Skua. Just so that I've got some attacking options and some defending and Derek Hunter. Happy with that. Right, here we go. I haven't changed any of my tactics from last season, so go back and watch them if you want to. Obviously, our first season was tweakering, tinkering, tweakering, tinkering a lot. But I've obviously, this won us the league, so uh, I don't want to change anything yet if we have to tweak things because things aren't going our way. But we do have to understand that our team is not going to be as strong as the majority of these teams. The pressure is all on them. So what do we have to lose? Go out and cause an upset. Da, 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 da. Pressure is all on them. Yeah, let's go cause... Uh, we are underdogs, but that suits us. Go and cause surprise. A few surprises. Yeah, I like that one. Here we go. Oh, I'm sweating. Not because I'm nervous. It's because of bloody ops. And I'm in this room with no windows open because I live in our construction site. We're playing all right. Four minutes in, away as well. Got to remember that. Go on, Turner. Yes. Get in. What a start. Could promotion be on the table? Nah. This is great, though. Woodrington, Turner. Oh, lovely. That's a great goal. Oh, fantastical. Gone. Ooh, ooh, oh, come on. Oh, we had that. It's going to be a long season. Let's see what happened there. So, Fair Bailey to Sivvy. Sivvy. Didn't go to him. Yeah, we did have it. Got a foot on it, but just not enough. Went up and Smith headed in. Free kick. Oh, crossbar. Oh, 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 have they just picked up their game a little bit? Is that corner again? Oh, we're boxed in here. Look at them at half time, I guess. Free kick for us. Younger. Oh, was that post crossbar save? 
Yeah, mark him. If that's what you think. And then it pops up again. Yes, yeah, makes me laugh. And then Smith scores a header. Say, come on, I just told you to mark him because of that headering. See if it makes a difference. All right, nearly half time. And it is half time. It's got to be. Was something going to happen before? Got a minute to play, actually. Oh, God, for long injury time in FM24. Going to be a nightmare. No. Bloody injury time goal. Only one minute of it and they still blow the squad. Oh, dear. That's a... There's no point shouting. Because it's now going to be half time and I might give them a little bit of a kick. Yeah, we scored and went flat. Come on, boys. We can get for draw. Two new signings. Gaxa and Fuller playing awful. Actually, our whole front line is playing awful. 6.3, 6.4, 6.3. One good player, Turner, goal scorer. Can we find something out of this game? Giving them something to play towards, and that's obviously for draw. Oh, good ball. Go on, Gaxa. No, back to Randall. Good ball instead. Penalty. He went down. There's no VAR. Says dubious decision. Right, Wheatley. This is why I asked them at half time to go out and get. Right, you know what? 65th minute. How are we doing? 57% possession, 741. It's very tight in chances. I'm ready to make some changes. Yes, so Callum Stead's not having a great game, is he? So what I'm gonna do is bring Skua on. I'm also going to did we try him on for left? I mean Fuller's playing okay. Flanagan can play right back. Okay, let's try that. We can always bring on Max Thompson or for life if we need to. I think, to be fair, if we lose, we've put on a good away performance to show for league what we can do. Flanagan. Villa, go on. Yes. 3-2. Flanagan over the top of her defence. Oh, what poor goalkeeping. Ball went underneath. Looks like Fuller staying on. Brilliant. What was that by my, oh, by my assistant? Oh, you can't scroll. You have to actually do old school. Had instruction floated hit early, considering we are superior. Yeah, got in. Why not? Now that we're winning, get a bit more on that. Uh, Gax is not playing well, is he? I'll bring on Max Thompson. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go and win the game. Wow. What a game. 3-2. Is it going to be late drama? Like in, begin, uh, in the first half? Is there going to be late drama? Oh, here we go. 91. No highlights. No highlights. Oh, biscuits. All right, Oldham's got the ball. We're putting pressure on them. Oh, was that a push from us? I don't know, but they've got it out to Koto. Get him. Take him. Oh, no. Wasted chance. Poor header. 93. Oh, 30 seconds to play. We've got the ball. Bailey. And what a rubbish pass that was. All right, Younger heads it. Wheatley finds Fuller again over the top. Oh, unlucky Fuller. And I think that's all over. 10 seconds. First game of the season. Away to Oldham. Back in for National League. Or we've never been in National League. I can't remember. But is this going to be a great first game of the season? Come on, ref. Come on. To Fergie. Or any manager. I just remember Fergie and I think always. Yes. Brilliant. We left last season of all those celebrations. And we go into our new season in great form what a victory against Oldham away I wonder how Oldham did last season do you want to have a look but yeah look me telling them to go go get that draw why not knew it was doable we ended up getting for win F1 thought we'd lose but we've just proven them wrong be proud what a great win yes that was well done that was great for our confidence now Oldham 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 we're third in the league. Woohoo! Where are you, Oldham? Competitions. History, that's the one. Let's have a look. So last season, is that this season? 23, 24. No. So last season they came 14th, 17th, and then obviously they was in League Two and got relegated to the season before. So ideally, they should be kicking on now. They had a bad, they improved, and they should be doing better. We just beat them. I think that's a really good win. What was the pre-season odds? Oldham, Oldham, Oldham. 16th, okay. But not in relegation battle. We're 500 to 1 to win the league. They are expecting us to go straight down. 
Well, I don't think that we're going to go straight down. I think this was a brilliant start. As you can see, we've been planning our team. We've retained quite a lot of players from last season. Proof in the pudding, right? One game, we won. Great start. But I, f I think that I need to make a judgment call by the time. And I'll do 10 games and then I'll go to Christmas and then obviously end of the season. But if you want to see how we do in our series, you know what you need to do. Hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button so it can go out to the world. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on for the next one.